Somebody actually told me within the last couple weeks, they try to make 30% per day. And that if they were successful doing that, by the end of the year, they would have $65 million. What's going on people? It is your boy BSG. You're gonna get approached by a, a lot of people in a company called iMarkets Live. You know, I haven't really been on Instagram and so I started, you know, trying to get back into Instagram and, you know, promoting my channel that way, post my daily trades on there and, you know, people see the success that I'm having. And ever since I started doing that, uh, I, I started getting all of these requests from people in our market's life to the point where, you know, I kind of knew the script, you know, and I knew that they were in our market's live before they even told me. And uh, so I was going to do this video a couple of weeks ago. Then I got caught up in some other things. But just in the last week, I've actually been approached by people that I actually know. Some of these people are not people that I would consider, you know, financial gurus. If you know, if, if you know me, if you're a part of my circle, you know that I've been involved in finances and trading stocks, Bitcoin, and so on and so forth since 2011. Everybody that knows me knows that I'm about my business and I'm about, you know, that I don't have a job and that I trade for a living. So when I got approached by this particular person, it was like, wow, you know, he, he's, you know, like one of the last people that I would think would be involved in Forex. And I'm surprised that I hadn't heard about it. Um, so it's because of that that I'm doing this video. And so if you're out there thinking about getting involved in iMarkets Live and you want to know the truth of what it's about and if you should get involved with it, then this is the video for you. Now, why am I qualified to talk about this? Am I in iMarkets Live? No, I am not. I first want to address the issue of the whole multi-level marketing thing. And, and so a lot of people have a negative idea and I can say without a doubt that MLM, multi-level marketing itself, is not a scam. I have been involved with multi-level marketing before. Uh, I was in a company called Prepaid Legal Services uh, years ago. I was one of the youngest, uh, you know, directors in the company. I ran a lot of the meetings at the hotels and so on and so forth with other people. Uh, and I had some success with that. And I learned a lot about how to run a business, about how to build a team, leadership, how to work with people. Uh, and so what MLM is good for is teaching you how to run a business, you know, how to lead people, you know, uh, and, and it's a cheap way to learn that versus paying, you know, tens of thousands of dollars, I think, to even go to business school or something like that. Because, you know, what business school doesn't teach you is actually how to run a business, actually, you know, so it's good for that. However, there are many, 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 many companies within multi level marketing that are scams and, and that are bad. When I got approached about iMarkets Live, um, I decided to do some research. And so here's what I found. First of all, Christopher Terry, the rumor is out there. And if you look up iMarkets Live, uh, it, it is that Christopher Terry made all his money by being a trader and that he made $85 million being a trader. Okay, I can tell you without a doubt that it is 100% not true, okay? Christopher Terry uh, had a construction company in the 80s and uh, early 90s, and he made his money in, const in, in construction. Uh, according to the reports, uh, which you know I can't validate if it's true or not, but reportedly uh, he had $40 million in sales during just his final year in construction. Now, I want you to keep that number uh, in mind. So, um, but it was during his construction business that he learned from a girlfriend 
that some guy was making $5,000 per month in this business and that he should check it out. Now, I want you to think about this for a second. If, if you have $40 million in sales, now that doesn't mean that that's all profit. I can tell you without a doubt in construction, it won't be all profit. But let's say your profit is 10% of that. If you're making $40 million in gross sales and your take home is millions of dollars, why on earth are you interested in $5,000 a month? Okay, so that's red flag number one. But as the story goes, he met with the guy that the girlfriend recommended, and the guy was in a company called Amway. Amway is another long-term multi-level marketing. A lot of people, especially old school people, have been in Amway. He got involved in Amway, and he built you know, a nice, what you call, downline through Amway. So this is you know from the 90s to the late 90s, possibly early 2000s. From Amway, he hooked up with a woman named Linda Ratchke, and I hope I'm saying that name right, but Linda Ratchke is a well-known trader, very successful trader. He was running a forum that was a part of Linda Ratchke's group where he was the moderator on a forum. That is pretty much the extent of his trading background. All this talk about him being the number one trader in, in, on the stock markets, first of all, uh, <laughs> there's no such thing as the number one trader in the stock market. There are people who manage the most money, people like uh, you know Warren Buffett and the Cook Brothers and so on and so forth. And again, in all my years since 2011, I have never, ever, ever heard the name Christopher Terry. Uh, so to say that he's number one or what have you is completely untrue. He may have managed some money for some friends, and I'm sure it might have been for a few million dollars, but this idea that he took whatever money that he started with and grew it to $85 million is completely 100,000% false, all right? So, after, what's going on people? It is your boy BSG. Uh, when you've had the type of success that I've had uh, with Forex trading, um, you're, you're gonna get approached by a, a lot of people in a company called iMarkets Live. You know, I haven't really, numerous people have said that Christopher Terry was definitely a part of Zeke Rewards and that uh, the people that were involved in Zeke Rewards came from Amway. The founder of Zeke Rewards is a guy named uh, Paul Burks. And it mentions in Paul Burks' biography that he was involved in multi-level marketing in the 90s. Okay, so what are the odds that Christopher Terry is in MLM in the 90s and this guy's in MLM in the 90s uh, and and you know maybe it was Amway maybe it was something else Zeke Rewards operated like uh, you know those bid sites where you pay a little money and then you're supposed to be able to get like you know an iPhone for like $42 or something like that you've seen those kind of sites he turned the acquisition part of that in terms of getting people involved into you know an MLM like thing even though it might not have officially been multi-level marketing it was basically affiliate marketing so if you had a website or something like that you could link to uh, the Zeke reward site and if somebody you know bought an item or or even you know just on their sign up fee you got a percentage of that and so Zeke Rewards went from 57,000 members the first year to 1.25 million members the second year. So, you know, it was growing like crazy. And, you know, based on the little information that I have, it seemed like Zeke Rewards was a legit business. You know, you can pay money to get in. And of course, you know, there are bigger companies like Amazon that have affiliate marketing but perhaps where they got into the multi-level marketing part, maybe they didn't 
you know, follow the proper rules or what have you. I didn't necessarily see anything erroneous in terms of how the business was set up, but that didn't stop the SEC from shutting it down and Burks was sued uh, for $939 million. You know, say what you want to say, this guy Christopher Terry has been involved in, you know, some things that were kind of like, eh, I'm not so sure. So this just happened in 2011. Literally nine months later, iMarkets Live was born in 2012. So again, I wanna take you back, all right? If you have all of this success from being a trader, there is nothing better than being able to make money out of thin air. There's no employees and with Forex, your fees are much lower than stocks and so on and so forth. So if you know how to, to turn whatever amount you had into $85 million, why do you then need to keep involved in your, involving yourself in all these other companies? It doesn't make any sense, you know? Um, so you just need to kind of have that in the background. But lo and behold, they started iMarkers Live in 2012. And when you look at the records in New York, it doesn't even list Christopher Terry as the founder. It lists someone named Isis. Ironically enough, Isis De La Torre, uh, it lists her as the founder and he's listed as the CFO. But regardless, he's obviously involved. So what is my issue with iMarkets Live? Okay, it basically comes down to this. Well, first of all, when they started it, they had an auto trader. Everybody wants to seemingly make money, um, you know, for doing nothing. It's the same scam that BitConnect ran, okay? You put a little bit of money in and, you know, is, is you know, we got this patented information and this patented technology and these robots are going to trade on your behalf and make money. That's how iMarkets Live started. Well, that was shut down because the robots were blowing up people's accounts. In other words, they were losing a bunch of money on behalf of a lot of other people. So you would think that would be the end of the company. No, they decided to just, okay, well, we're just gonna call it, you know, an education site and we're gonna charge you every month to learn from these expert traders. Uh, and, you know, they're gonna teach you how to trade and so it costs uh about 195 dollars to sign up and then every month after that it's 145 dollars but here's the catch you can recruit other people and you're encouraged to recruit other people so that you can not only make money off of trading but you can make money off of other people's subscription and so again when it comes to multi-level marketing I don't have a problem with anybody selling a viable product and getting other people uh, involved. Here's what is wrong, okay? Number one, if you're not in a position where you can verify actual trades from these quote unquote experts, that's not something that you need to be a part of, okay? Uh, this is why when I do my trades, I show my actual account. I show my actual numbers uh, that I'm working with. Even if it's a test account or whatever it is, I'm taking that test account and I'm showing how we're growing the test account, a part of my Patreon group, all right? So that's the first issue, all right? Number two, the biggest issue that I have is just like BitConnect, iMarkets Live is selling this dream to people that you can take $100 and turn it into millions of dollars. Like, I'm not even making this up. Somebody actually told me within the last couple weeks that they try to make 30% per day. Okay, 30% per day and that if they were successful doing that, by the end of the year, they would have $65 million. Yeah, I've talked to other people who are literally, I'm not making this up, literally trading 
with $25. And they're talking about how Forex is such a great opportunity. So, so. Now, now, go back a little bit now. Remember, I told you that the program costs $145 a month. Why on earth are you spending $145 a month to trade with a $25 account? Three trades alone, damn near wiped out the account. The account was really low. As you can tell, I kind of brought it back from the dead. You know, it was lower than that. It was, I think, down to $6 or $7, something like that, $7. And I brought it back from the dead. You want to set goals for yourself, even if you just take $20 and put $20 on the line. And you're telling people that, oh, yeah, you know, one day you're going to be wealthy and you're going to grow this $25 into millions of dollars. Okay, listen. So let me just say this, all right? Forex offers a wonderful opportunity to make money, all right? It's why I do it. It's why I teach it to other people. Yes, it, 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 it takes a little learning, okay? But once you develop a system, you can make daily income with Forex. But just like any business, it takes money to make money, okay? You need to approach your Forex career or, or any type of trading career just like any other business. A lot of you out there went to college and, and you majored in something that made absolutely no sense and now you don't have any job prospects tied to your degree. You got a bunch of debt and all of that because you were sold this dream from college that you know all you had to do was go to college and you were gonna have a successful life. Now you're looking at this iMarkets Live thing or, or Big Connect or any other type of business and you actually have the opportunity to make up for all the mistakes that you made in college and, and, and to erase all of your debt. So some of you out there have $40,000, $50,000, $60,000 or more in debt from college. Are you really going to uh, try to approach your new business where you could erase your debt? where you could get a house, where you could support your family with $25, like that's, you in your mind, that's what you really think, you just take $25 and erase all your financial problems, it does not work that way. With any business, it takes money to make money. I don't care what it is, with real estate, with stocks, with anything, you need money. Okay, yes, I know some of y'all out there, okay, if you have good credit, you might be able to get uh, you know, uh, uh, your first rental property on credit or something like that. But in general, it takes money. You definitely, you can't even sign the paperwork for $25. Even if you, you, you use credit, you're gonna have expenses with the broker when you get your loan. So you need money to start any type of business online offline it doesn't matter and especially in trading you need a significant amount of money this is why i tell all of the traders that i teach that you cannot join my program with any less than ten thousand dollars i have that blasted on the website and that's the reason why we only have a few people a part of our program. Because if I was out there telling people, oh yeah, you can join with $100, $150, you know, we'd have a bunch more people. I want to stop you before you even start. What should those people do? You know, you just tell those people to go home? Absolutely not. You can do a lot with $100, $150, $200 just by saving it. So many of you out there who have lost a bunch of money with iMarkets Live, with BitConnect, with other businesses, number one, just learn how to save. If you don't have X amount of dollars in your savings account, you shouldn't be investing in anything. That's number one. Successful people always take a long-term approach to making money. Uh, poor people in general are always trying to turn a few dollars into millions of dollars. That's just what the lottery is all about. 
That's what other scams have been about. So just in general, if you're out there and, and, and you don't know anything about multi-level marketing and, and you know these other type of businesses, and somebody is telling you that you can turn you know a hundred dollars one time into you know millions of dollars, that's the time where you get up and walk out the door. Now, if you invest over the long term and you do it over and over and over and over and over and you save it and you just get a little bit of interest, it can grow to a substantial amount. As I said, there are people who invested uh, you know, a couple hundred dollars a month in Ethereum last year, in other cryptocurrencies, and they grew to hundreds of thousands of dollars uh, that year. I don't know if we're gonna see the same type of growth. That was kind of like a once in a lifetime thing but it still had to happen over time. It didn't happen in a day. It took the whole year, a whole year to do that. So if you're not willing to wait, if you're not willing to take the time to invest, to study and all of that, then you probably should be doing something else. And I can tell you for sure, iMarkets Live is not the vehicle to do that with. If you wanna learn how to trade Forex successfully and you want to see actual trades of somebody that's doing it then you can check out the link in the description you'll see all the trades that we've done good and bad and you know if you have at least a minimum of 10,000 ideally you need 25,000 but you know we can show you how to do it with a minimum of 10,000 um, if that's something that interests you and you're serious about doing this, then you can do that. Otherwise, you can open up a practice account and, and try to learn yourself, you know, over the next 12 months or so on and just absorb all the information you can and, and learn yourself. There's nothing wrong with doing that. We just try to help people cut uh, into the, the, the learning curve that it's going to take, you know, every single day. It's your boy BSG. I'm going to holler at y'all in the next video.